Nearly 150 outraged emails flooded the Florida High School Athletic Association's inbox this week. That is the proposal from a recommendation from the executive director would be, uh, again, to adopt the national form, removing the questions on the menstrual cycle. The emails were all about four questions on the association's health questionnaires about female athletes' menstrual periods. An individual's menstrual history should be a topic of discussion only between themselves and their physician and maybe their parents if they are a minor. One draft of the forms made the questions mandatory. The most recent draft made them optional. I motion to approve the recommendation by the executive director of the FHSA, Craig Damon, on the changes and updates to the EL2. Thank you. But after a 14 to 2 vote during an emergency meeting today, the questions are gone. While a handful of emails were for the questions. Menstrual history is an essential discussion for female athletes because menstrual cycle abnormalities may be a sign of low energy availability, pregnancy, or other gynecology or medical condition. Most of the messages read by the association's public counsel, Leonard Ireland, were against what people called an invasion of privacy. As a mother of a high school varsity athlete, I was concerned about the discussion regarding the requirements of reporting a student's athlete's menstrual history and having that information stored at school. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.